What's up y'all, it's Yellowbone the Neighborhood Customizer. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to make your patches without the border issue, without having anything coming out of your border. Um, and I use the applique style to do this. And this is just with a corkscrew top material. You can really use any material, but that's what we, we'll, what we will be using today. So check me out. Got a little piece of cork material. Buy this on Amazon. Just type in cork fabric, it'll come right up. Got my regular hoop, some applique scissors, which got a little curve to them to help you cut out the shape whenever you're running it. I've actually got a couple of clamps right here and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna use these for, okay? All right, so step one, we're actually gonna use some tearaway backing. So I'm gonna cut away two pieces of tearaway backing big enough to hoop into my, whatever size hoop I'm using to run my patches. So I'm only running a single patch on this one. So I've got two layers of cutaway backing. You're gonna need this. Here we're just gonna hoop our tearaway backing. Turn it so I'm not bumping into my hats. This is real simple. You don't have to be straight or anything like that, but get this hooped. Nice and tight. All right. You want that to be nice and tight, just like you're hooping a garment. You see, I'm pulling the edges up to tighten it. You hear that drum sound? That's what you're looking for. Nice, tight drum sound on there. If you got to pull up a little bit more, try not to pull your material, or you might rip your your um, tearaway. So that's it. This is what I'm gonna put on the hoop, okay? All right, so now we're at the machine. We're just gonna throw this on. Clamp it in. I'm already centered on my screen where I need to be. So then I'm gonna take my cork material because this is what I'm gonna use as my actual patch material. You can use twill. Um, I have polyester. I've got this polyester felt material that I use, which actually works good as a white background, but even better, I like to sublimate images on this, um, backgrounds, whatever the customer might need, whatever theme it might be, sublimate onto these and use these as your back patch. But you can buy this on Amazon as well. I buy everything on Amazon. Just type in what I'm saying, what the, the material is, and I probably bought it on Amazon. Bought this cork material on Amazon as I said before, but I'm gonna throw this onto the machine. I'm gonna make sure it's centered so that my design is going, not gonna overrun off of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and just run start on this. Now, do y'all see how much that started bouncing? That's what I got the clamps for. So I like to, and the reason it's bouncing is because this hoop is so light and um, that's why it's bouncing up and down. There's no shirt fabric or anything like that. So I like to just put some clamps onto the end of my hoop right there and that gives it some weight. And then just let it keep running. All right, before this design stops, I wanna show y'all on my screen how I would set this up. Um, you wanna be able to, on your color changes, you want it to frame out whenever it gets done with the first color change or after your tack down, which will be the second one, because this final, this final color change is gonna be my um, applique satin border, or in this case, the faux marrow border. So, that's, that one is the one that's going to go ahead and need to be cut. I need to cut out my applique shape before this one stitches. So right here, what you can do is put a frame out function on it. 
and it'll frame out whenever it gets there. I hit OK. And then let's keep running and see what happens. All right, so I got to the point where my my uh, satin border or my marrow faux border, whatever I'm running, is ready to stitch out. So I'm going to take this off the machine because it's framed out and ready for me to take off. And I'm going to take it off and I am going to trim as close to this black line as I can running around just of my top material that I'm running the applique on. All right, so once I frame out, I can take this off. Remove my clips real quick. Put those back on when I start it back up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the applique scissors to cut out the border around here. Okay? I'm using the applique scissors to cut out around it. Let's see. Let me get that down here so y'all can see. And the curve on these scissors really give you an advantage to try to get as close to that borderline as you possibly can. And then we'll try not to cut your stitches because you don't want to have any of that patch pulling through on the inside and coming apart. So you want to get as close as you can without cutting those stitches if possible closer you get, the less you're going to have hanging out the edges at the end. Just gonna go around and clean up any pieces that I think I didn't get close enough on. This is really gonna make it easier at the end when it comes time to clean it up. Straggler, hold on. All right, I've got that cut around the border nice and close. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the machine now. Put my clamps back on for the counterweight because there's no weight with this, it's leaving it bouncing around everywhere. There's my counterweight. Let's start it back up. All right, so now we've got it done stitching out. Now it's time for the cleanup. And this is the pretty simple part right here. Take my clamps off. Unhoop it. 
this is why we use the tearaway backing as the background so that we can just go ahead and rip all that away. All right, I like to go around the edge, pull off the excess sticking out before I hit it with a lighter. That way, this is really excess from the, sometimes the tear away will leave a little bit, but the cork material has like a, a mesh base to it that kicks out some white fibers as it's stitching over it. And a couple pieces of the cork that I didn't cut enough that were coming out around the edges. So I'll just trim the long pieces. Now, why do I trim long pieces before I hit the lighter? So that they don't bunch up. Because all the lighter is gonna do is melt it, right? And if it bunches up into a little ball, melted thread ball, it'll make your edges look not as smooth. So I just go over real quick around the edges and I take my lighter to it. I'm just running this fast. You don't want to keep it on there and start melting your thread. You're just getting rid of those microfibers around the edge. Don't need to stay too much, spend too much time in one spot. Go around two times if you have to. And there it is. Now I've got some pieces where the cork didn't get cut. That's what I was talking about with your marker. Just go around do your touch ups. And I know what some people may be thinking, why not just do it regular, never do the applique part and then just color everything on the outside. And my reasoning is because you get a smoother stitch if you never have to color this border. If you never have to cover anything on that border, you get the smoothest looking patch. Got some excess from a jump stitch. Go in and cut that free. You can even go for the top layer. Got my pieces on the back, cut those away. And that there is now a smooth patch that you can put on shirts, hats, backpacks, lunch boxes. Whatever they might want to put it on, that's how you do it. Appreciate y'all stopping in to check out the channel, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share with your like-minded friends. Um, make sure you comment for suggestions on videos that I should do. Um, I appreciate all y'all always checking me out. I appreciate all y'all always encouraging me to continue to make videos that might be helpful. Um, like I said, if you need anything, comment. I will try to answer as quick as possible. Um, if you have any suggestions, um, comment, and I'll try to get a video up as quick as possible. Um, Y'all give me some time, all right? Got family, kids, full-time job. This is a side hustle, so give me some time. I'm trying my best. And if y'all love the content, y'all love what y'all see, and I'm helping y'all out a lot, don't feel bad if you donate a couple bucks to the yellow bone. Know what I'm saying? Cash apps in the comments, bro. I appreciate all y'all.